What is up crypto Twitter or YouTube? It's your boy Rodney. Happy Thursday and let's get into some cryptocurrency news. So the overall market is slightly in the green today with XLM going absolutely nutty. HBAR up on the day looking really, really good. And a lot of the ISO uh, cryptocurrencies looking pretty good on the day. We're up entire 1%. The entire cryptocurrency market is at a $1.22 trillion market cap and it looks like Arkham, Pepe and Baby Doge 2.0 are our trending cryptos today. Now, we're going to touch on community tokens here in a little bit because I think it's important that you guys really start to understand meme coins. All right, so you saw the headline, is XRP in trouble? The Federal Reserve is set to launch the long-awaited instant payment service modernizing system, which is called FedNow. So what the heck is FedNow and why can XRP be in trouble? Well, just to clear things up, XRP is probably going to be fine, but this is the US government's attempt to kind of do their own thing. It's obvious that they see cryptocurrency doing its thing and being kind of successful. And one would say since this project was started, well, you know, 2019, a year before the Ripple lawsuit happened, maybe this was a way to get rid of the competition. But I'll let you make that decision for yourself. So the US Federal Reserve is due to imminently launch a long awaited service, which will aim to modernize the country's payment system by eventually allowing everyday Americans to send and receive funds in seconds, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Kind of sounds like cryptocurrency to me, right? The FedNow service, which has been in the work since 2019 will seek to eliminate a several day lag. It commonly takes cash transfers to settle, bringing the US in line with countries including the United Kingdom, India, Brazil, and well as the European Union, where similar services have existed for years. So of course, FedNow is launching with 41 banks and 15 service providers. Some of those banks include JP Morgan, Bank of New York Mellon, and US Bancor. And of course, the Fed plans to onboard more banks and credit unions this year. So what the heck does XRP do? So as you can see, Ripple XRP is a real-time growth settlement system is a specialist money transfer network, currency exchange, and remittance network. XRP can be an exchange for most other currencies and helps users avoid wait times associated with banks. So pretty much the FedNow program is looking to do what XRP already does. So we'll see. I made the best project win, but some would say the reason why cryptocurrency and Bitcoin was created is because of the problems in our current financial system. This will be an interesting showdown. The issue has always been about centralization when it comes to cryptocurrency and traditional finance. Obviously, us crypto bros favor decentralization. But as time has went on, a lot of cryptocurrency products have been accused of too much centralization. That's always been a problem with Ripple and is now becoming a problem with Ethereum. So what is that problem? So in the early days of Ripple, this was the idea. Ripple basically said, hey, let's make Bitcoin adoptable by institutions. So they created their own version of decentralized currency that was faster and more consistent and cheaper. According to a former Ripple Labs employee who asked not to be identified so he could speak more freely without upsetting old colleagues, Quote, but it did come with a trade-off of greater centralization compared to Bitcoin. Article also points out that what remains of the XRP lawsuit, right, that just you know concluded last week, however, is the persistent criticism historically lobbed at XRP Ledger. The product at the heart of the case by blockchain Pyrus that it's too centralized in its technological design. And the issue is it allows its central transaction processing mechanism to be controlled by a much smaller handful of validators or key operators and found on many rival blockchains. And so we're seeing this issue with Ethereum now because to become an ETH validator, you have to have 32 Ethereum staked, which at today's current price is roughly 60 something thousand dollars. There have been articles saying that Ethereum may raise that drastically, which would make the barrier to entry only available for like institutions or people with a ton of money. I get the concerns, but XRP still seems like a better choice than the FedNow system. All right, so in the next piece of crypto news, Kuwait bans crypto and virtual asset transactions. That's been a while since I heard a headline like this, but this is a pretty interesting move from Kuwait. So I won't read this whole article, but one of the main quotes says, it is not linked to any asset or issuer and the prices of the assets are always driven by speculation that exposes them to sharp decline which you know volatility is pretty crazy in cryptocurrency but one would say the us dollar isn't backed by anything and every other currency is backed by the us dollar so what's really backing what since we're all making funny money here why can't crypto join in on the party but the difference is is that bitcoin is truly decentralized has no flag and is finite a lot of the other cryptocurrencies i think this makes sense for this statement makes a lot of sense for them all right and today i want to talk about meme coins a little bit and community tokens. And Pepe2 has been the topic of discussion here the last couple of weeks in the meme coin world. And right now the meme coin market has kind of cooled off a bunch, but this thing has been tumbling like crazy. I mean, this thing hit a hundred million dollar market cap. It dumped crazy in a day. It pumped back up and it's continued to slowly sell off. Now I want to talk about something and the main thing that made this project pump. And it's probably my first most important thing when it comes to why should you buy a meme coin? Because keep in mind, meme coins are just gambling. It's like
like literally playing a slot machine most of the time unless you're buying into more established cryptocurrency products like Doge, Pepe, and Shiba Inu. They're, they're really risky. But one of the first things I look for is community. Community, community is everything. And you can get a good gauge for community by just being on Twitter and being involved in the different things they have going on. You don't have to, you know, participate in these crazy Twitter live spaces or hang out in the Telegram all day, but it's good to see how many people are showing up for those, how many people are retweeting their tweets. Because what I've seen about strong meme coin projects is that have a crazy community that at least pump this thing to a decent amount. Just like gambling, sometimes when you take some, when you're up and you get some profits, sometimes it's better to take those profits. So I wanted to touch on that, and I'm gonna sprinkle a little more meme coin education into these videos as we go on. And honestly, the reason why I'm putting this in this video is because there's nothing really to talk about in the cryptocurrency world today, but still, at least you get some sort of meme coin education. So thank you so much for watching. Like, retweet, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.